Hi everyone and thanks for watching. This is Abhyuddin Amasid Teki and now I'm going to present you about the cipher tags data encryption methods the data security. The first method is which I have brought to you is symmetric cipher tags coding schemes where you have to substitute the letter with the letter in sequence and letter in descending order. You can see the table here. So in a simple symmetric encryption system each letter of the alphabet is substituted with another the plain text message for example a is replaced with z b will be replaced by y c will be replaced by x d will be replaced by w e will be replaced by v f will be replaced by u g will be replaced by t h will be replaced by s i will be replaced by r j will be replaced by q k will be replaced by p l will be replaced by o m will be replaced by n and n will be replaced by m o will be replaced by L, P will be replaced by K, K and Q will be replaced by J, R will be replaced by I, S will be replaced by H, T will be replaced by G, U will be replaced by F, V will be replaced by E, W will be replaced by D and X will be replaced by C, Y will be replaced by B and Z will be replaced by A. So you would have noticed that the alphabets are written from right to left in a sequential order and from left to right in both directions and corresponding each letter right so if you go in any sequence from left to right a b c d and from right to left a b c d so you will see that each letter will correspond to the other letters of the other row so now uh, we are going to convert this method use this method in making a cipher text so now uh, we are converting the cipher text convert the plain text into cipher text cipher or ciphers cipher text okay so now moving on to the next where we are going to convert it so I'm just uh, removing this so you can see that we can convert it by using the cases here now let's suppose if I have to convert to home it may concern this is a simple plain text to whom it may concern so now we are going to convert 2 into a substituted value so what is the value of t is g g o oh, what is the value of o let's suppose g's value is here and o's value is here l or you can see that else uh, if I have uh, used this one upside uh, from bottom to up and or, or top to bottom so you can use any of them in reverse or uh, in other orders so you can see that G and O for L right so L okay and I'm just marking the other one so that it will be easier to understand this is for O and L Okay, GL, this is now done. And now, whom WHOM, W, what is the W? Where is the W in the first line? Row number of alphabets. I'm just for working on alphabets. W will be replaced by D, DH will be replaced by S, O again will be replaced by L. This you can see that I'm just putting another mark. Again, doubling the use mark. Uh, L and M is with N, right? H, then I is here, I and R. R, T again, 
T G is for T again T is used so again twice G may we have used N for M may M twice and A is for Z and Y is for B right and A is for Z this is here and now you can see concern C -O -N -C -E -R -N. now C O L L is third time and now this is N with M C again X E is here C I have done twice and E is here E will be replaced by V and R again will be replaced by I now you can see R is here so R is I right and N again will be by M hmm. so now I am just going to write this this will be G L D S L N R G N Z B X L M X V I M so this is the answer of cipher text this is the cipher text now this is a cipher so you have seen that how the values or letters have been substituted for each of the characters so I hope you will like this thanks for watching